my name is Mike Lott. I'm my wife and I own Mike Lott Farms in Plant City, Florida. Uh, we grow 42 acres of strawberries on 89 acres of land. My father was not necessarily a strawberry farmer. His father grew strawberries way back in the days of the strawberry schools. And um, he was always into cattle and citrus. So I was always around agriculture. My father was always around agriculture, but not this row crop, strawberries, vegetables. Right out of high school, I got uh, to grow in some small vegetables, uh, squash, eggplant, a little bit of pepper and uh, grew it around the citrus groves and the different things that my father owned. And the, um, then I got married and I was working at a farm supply store in Plant City, Plant City Grower Association. So while I was there, I repaired spray pumps, sold fertilizer, spray material, and all the likes of that. During that time, I befriended um, a lady named Miss Fry, and her husband had came down with a, um, an illness. He got cancer. and didn't have long to live. And she asked me, they had already planted their crop, asked me would I be willing to go in on halves and finish the crop for them. So I, me and my wife did that. We went in halves and uh, we had a very successful season with them. And after that, I was kind of hooked on agricultural. And we took that money and invested it into a, a larger scale eggplant crop and actually lost all the money, to be honest. but. We kept on and we rented a farm from Jim Walden, who was president of Farm Credit Bank at the time, and we started planting strawberries. Uh, that was 1979. We bought this farm in 1982 and developed it and had our first crop in 1983, which was the famous year of the Christmas freeze. So everything kept on, but we endured and um, this, I stand in the original part of the farm. Since then, we've had three phases of development and have increased the farm. Um, I raised my two daughters here, and um, my father actually lives on the other side of the farm, so it's a very family farm, local produce situation. Anything bought here is bought on the east coast of America, usually. Uh, we have shipped overseas in the past. Um, this, the berries I'm standing in right now are Camarosas. They're a, late, a later berry for us. We grow primary festival uh, and radiant. Uh, we have some new varieties. We have the winter star this year, which we'll introduce in a larger scale next year. Since I started growing in 1979, we were all overhead sprinkler irrigation. Um, now we're all drip irrigation. We use very little nitrogen. We use we're probably one of the most conservative as far as water, as far as normal irrigation practices. The occasional freeze we do, we do sprinkling ice in and we use a larger quantity of water at that time. But that's, well, this year it's only been one night out of the whole season. We have kind of a microclimate here in the Tampa Bay area that's allowed strawberries to be raised here for the last hundred years. Uh, all my uncles grew strawberries here. Uh, I know some land here that has had strawberries on continuously for a hundred years. So, you know, it's definitely in our culture. If anybody's ever visited Plant City, it's just strawberries everywhere. Um, I have four grandkids. Uh, I've mentioned them earlier. They live close. They love the farm. They play on the farm. It's a safe place for them to be. It's, oh, I don't know. It, it misses the Lassie dog is the only thing to be in the family farm. The things we do on the farm when, when, the, when the kids are here and we're not farming, we, we fish, we have fish ponds on the farm, we um, do a little hunting. But really with all other than be family and everything else, what it is is a business, it's about growing strawberries. I'm gonna reach down here and show the next hand of fruit, which is the green fruit coming here, the blooms, and, and here's the red berry that, that's came off the same bush that's going through its different hands of fruit. Uh, strawberries are produced in multiple crops. You plant them one time and you'll pick them oh, as many as 50 times in a season. And um, I think by far, Florida has one of the, the sweetest strawberries that we can raise. Another advantage to buying Florida strawberries, especially on the East Coast, is that we are closer than any other strawberry producer. We can be to New York 
overnight almost. Uh, Mexico is, you know, 2,000 miles to the border. Uh, California grows a wonderful berry, but they're also on the other side of the United States. Florida can pick it riper and get it to you faster if you're on the east coast of America. So um, that's what it's all about right there.